Today's exercise is a usable exercise. It can be used as an application. And this application will create a specified table. So the user will just insert the number of rows and columns and click the button. So the table will be created. So let me try this. It will make the rows 5 for example and also the columns and submit. So the user can insert any data inside this table. He can make it as an appointment table. And if he didn't insert the rows and the columns, it will be 10 by default. So the idea here is how to take the rows, how to take the number of rows and columns, make the table with this specified rows and columns, enable inserting data inside the table. So here is the whole idea. Consider it as a quiz and start thinking. Then go to the main video for any help. So, like what we have seen, the HTML code will be title for the whole exercise, two inputs, one for the rows and another one for the columns, but to create the table, and a small hint if the number of rows and columns haven't inserted, and finally a container div for the table. So, let me get started. So, the first element will be a header tag, h2, and let me give it a style. Text align and make it center. And let me type create then let me make the button to submit the inputs. And give it an ID equal to submit and let me call it create now then let me make a small hint to tell the user if he didn't insert the number of rows and columns it will be 10 by default Then let me make the container div which will contain the table and give it an ID equal to container so let you save and see nice but I think if we added here a color for the small text it will be better now let me make it gray or light gray nice so now the HTML code is ready, just to remain the JavaScript code which will make this exercise dynamic and also will create the table. Now let we see how we can create this specified table using JavaScript. 
so the steps that we will be following making a function for the button once we click this button so this function contain two variables one for the rows and another one for the columns make sure if the rows and columns hasn't inserted and then create another function to create the table and inside this function we will make a loop to create the rows and then another loop to create the columns so let me get started so we will start by access to the button and the ID for the button is submit and give it an event on click equal to function and inside this function I will define a variable called rows and equal to document that get element by ID and the ID is rows that value so now the value of the rows input will be memorized in a variable called rows then let me make another one variable called columns and equal to document dot get element by id and the id is columns and that value then let me make sure if the columns and rows has been inserted so if rows equal equal none or rows equal equal null so if the user did insert any number for the rows so in this case rows will be equal to 10 and the same thing for columns so in this case the columns will equal 10 then let we create the table so i will define a variable and call it output and uh, this output will equal to the table element so here is the start element then let me make a function which will create the data for this table so function and I will call it create table and has two parameters one called rows and another one called columns and inside this function I will make two loops one to create the rows and another one to create the columns so for variable i equal to 1 and check if i less than or equal the number of rows then increment i so during this loop the new value for the output will equal to the output but plus table row element so the output now equal to the starting table element and the table row element then inside this loop I will make the loop for the columns so for variable j equal to 1 and 
j less than or equal to the number of columns then increment j and inside this loop the output will be equal to the output itself but plus the table data which is the columns in, of the table so table data element the data inside this table could be picture paragraph anything but in this example i will make it an input so plus input and it's type equal to text now let we add a placeholder equal to insert your data so let me review this instance again before moving on so here I created a function and this function has a loop the first loop to make the table row then the second loop will make the table data which is the table columns then outside this loop I wanna define the output again and it will equal to the output but plus end table row but we forgot to close the table data and outside the two loops I will update the output to be equal to the output and close the table plus end table element yeah here there is a forward slash and also for the table data and here plus so now there is no mistakes and then the function create table I will display it within the container div document that get element by ID And the ID is container dot inner HTML will equal to the output here dot and finally let we just call the create table function so create So let me save now and try. So let me insert 5 and also 5 again. So there's something wrong. Let me check the console. Output is not defined. Yeah, here. So let me save now and try again. And also here, let me check. Yeah, here output. I'll let me check if there is anything wrong again. So here too and here
and here so I think now everything is fine let me save and try nice so here is the table and here you can insert the data but let me add some style for this table so here I will add border equal to 1 this is the thickness of the border so here is the table there is also another attribute called cell padding and I will make it equal to 5 so let we see the difference nice and also cell spacing and equal to I will make it zero so let me save and see the difference nice so it removed the second border and let me add some style for the input inside the table so here within the style tag I will add but firstly let me make a class for this input so here class equal to let me make it input but input I want to remove the border and also change the width for the input so border will be none and also font size let me make it 20 pixels so let me save and see now nice but when you click in the input there is a border I want to remove this so I will add input focus so when we click on the input the outline will be none nice so let me try this table let me insert for example 2 and the columns make it 5 nice you can change it like this or remove column nice so I think now you can use this border for anything you can add columns or remove columns like this you can just change the number so it's very flexible dynamic and useful and you can add any style for this table you can make it better than this so we have explained many ideas in this exercise so try it by yourself try to mess with it and make it with a different way if you can do this and of course don't forget to show it to me see you